Hi, welcome to AlgebraClass.com. My name is Karen Hutchinson, and in this video, we're going to be solving a two-step equation. We're going to take a look at example number four on the website, which is x divided by 2 minus 4 equals negative 10. This equation is a two-step equation because there are two steps that we need to perform in order to get the variable by itself. I need to get rid of two numbers. I need to get rid of the 4 and the 2. And this is going to require two different steps. The first number that I'm going to get rid of is always going to be the constant in the equation. The constant in this case is the 4. So that is the number that I'm going to get rid of first. So what I'm going to do is start by bringing down the left-hand side of the equation which is x divided by 2 minus 4. And now I'm going to stop and ask myself, what do I need to do to get rid of minus 4? What is the opposite operation for minus 4? And that would be to add 4. The opposite of minus is add. So we're going to add 4 to both sides of the equation. And I'm adding 4 to both sides because I need to keep the equation balanced. And whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other side. The reason that I added 4 is because now we're going to think of this as negative 4. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. And now it's gone. And so now, on the left-hand side, the only thing that I have left is the x divided by 2. And on the right hand side, I now have negative 10 plus 4, which I can simplify to negative 6. So now I'm down to a one step equation. And this reads x divided by 2 equals negative 6. And for many of you, this may confuse you a little bit because it looks like a fraction. And you may say to yourself, well, I don't know how to get rid of a fraction. Remember that this fraction bar is really a division sign. So think of this as x divided by 2, because that will help you to think of the opposite operation. The opposite of divide is to multiply. So we're going to multiply by 2 on both sides of the equation. Now, to make this look like a fraction, I can always put a 1 underneath of it. This still says 2. And I'm going to multiply by 2 on the right-hand side as well. Now, the reason that this works is because, remember, if you have a number in the numerator and a number in the denominator that can be simplified, we can simplify those. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 1 times x is just x. And that's how I get x by itself. So I have x on the left-hand side, and negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. So my answer is x equals negative 12. And again, if you want to check your answer, it's always a great idea. And you can do this on a calculator, or you can do it right on your paper. But we're going to substitute negative 12 for x in the original problem. So negative 12 divided by 2 minus 4 should equal negative 10. So negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6, and negative 6 minus 4 does equal negative 10. Think of your keep change change here. So we'll keep negative 6, change this to plus negative 4, and negative 6 plus negative 4 is negative 10. So that's a great quick way to check your answer and make sure that it's correct. Okay, so again, this was an example on solving a two-step equation, and I hope that this helps you in your studies.